The Kurt Trilock 6-inch cluster tower is our newest tower option, featuring four CarveSmart jaw sets vertically mounted. Each vise can be set up to hold parts in five different configurations, including a standard double station configuration, a small upper single station setup, a small bottom single station setup, and an upper and lower large part large single station configuration. In the video, we'll review each configuration and how to use the friction block or third hand. We'll also demonstrate a potential pinch point that can occur between the upper jaw and stationary jaw. Tighten the friction block screw clockwise for fully engaged. Turn counterclockwise to the neutral position. There is still friction in this position, but the nut is not locked. Turn counterclockwise past the neutral position for fully disengaged. If the friction block is engaged when opening the vise, the top jaw will open first and create a potential pinch point between the stationary jaw. Always close the top jaw or have a part in place before releasing the friction block. We recommend leaving the friction block or third hand disengaged unless it's needed. First, Close the top jaw enough for the part to fit. Place the top part in the vise and tighten lightly to hold the part in place. Next, close the bottom station enough for the part to fit. Place the bottom part in the vise and close to hold both parts. Then, open the vise until the bottom jaw is less than an eighth of an inch from the part. Tighten the friction block holding screw until fully engaged. This locks the bottom nut and allows the vise to open and close on one part at a time. Close the vise and clamp the parts. The vise is ready for double station use for these parts. Close the top jaw until it contacts the stationary center jaw. Loosen the friction block screw to the fully disengaged position. The vise is now ready to be used in a bottom small single station configuration. With the friction block disengaged, close the top jaw until it contacts the stationary center jaw. Next, completely close the bottom jaw. Tighten the friction block screw to the fully engaged position. The vise is ready to be used in the top small single station configuration. First, remove the plugs from the bottom jaw. Pop the bottom jaw off by lifting from the back of the jaw and tilting it forward. Remove the vise body plugs and place nearby. Reinstall the bottom jaw. Next, remove the plugs from the stationary jaw. Remove the locating socket head cap screws. Be sure to hold the jaw when removing the screws. Next, Install the cap screws in the bottom jaw and replace the jaw plugs. Then, install the vise body plugs from the bottom jaw in the center jaw holes. The vise is ready for large part use in the lower position. First, remove the plugs from the top jaw. Next, pop the top jaw off. 
Remove the vise body plugs and place nearby. Reinstall the top jaw. Next, remove the plugs from the stationary jaw. Remove the locating socket head cap screws. Be sure to hold the jaw when removing the screws. Install the vice body plugs from the top jaw in the center jaw holes. Next, install the cap screws in the top jaw. Turn the vice handle to align holes if needed. Replace the jaw chip caps. Be sure the friction block is fully disengaged. The vise is ready for large part use in the upper position.